All right, now I'm going to show you how to use that partial products method to play a multiplication wrestling. Now, if you're in my classroom, you're going to find a sheet that looks something like this. Cards, numbers, form, teams, products, and total. Now, this is going to be exactly like partial products, except now you're going to be playing against an opponent. So the first thing you're going to do is draw four cards. So I drew a, a seven, a four, a two, and another two. Jot those down here, four, seven, two, and two. Now I'm going to form two two-digit numbers for that. So let's make a 72 and a 42. Now that 72 is going to be on one team, and the tens place is a 70, and the ones place is a 2. Now the 42 is going to form a team as well. The tens place is 40, and the ones place is a 2. Now those two teams are going to wrestle against each other. So we have 70 is going to wrestle 40, 70 is going to go against 2, 2 is going to go against 40, and 2 is going to go against 2. So let's write those down. 70 is going to wrestle 40, 70 is going to wrestle 2, 2 is going to wrestle 40, and 2 is going to wrestle the other 2. Now when we use our mental math strategies and our zeros tricks, this is a cinch, 7 times 4 is 28, and 2 zeros, 7 times 2 is 14, and a 0, 2 times 40, well 2 times 4 is 8, add 0, 2 times 2 is 4, Add them up, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 4, 8 is 12, 1, 8, 1 is 10, 2 plus 1 is 3. Now with my, I'll just lay them out as a 2, 2, a 7, and a 4, my product was 3,024. Now if I go over here, I do it like our partial products. We'll remember that. We, it's, it's the exact same, it's just set up a little bit differently. So if you look for our bow tie, no problem. 70 times 40 is 2,800, which we just did here. 70 times 2 is 140, we just did that over here. 40 times 2 is 80, we just did that over here. And the last one, there's our bow tie. 2 times 2 is already 4. We add that up, we get 4, 2, 0, and 3, a total of 3,024, which we have right here. So player one, round one, just got those. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm erasing, I'm going to talk a little strategy. Now, we know that since we have different cards and we're trying to form the largest number possible, we have to be kind of strategic. We have to use strategy, we have to use what we know about numbers and how we're going to make them the largest that we possibly can. Now I'm going to show you the right way to do it. I'm going to show you a way that might not lead to success for you. So as I'm erasing, I have four other cards drawn as well. Now those cards are an 8, a 1, a 5, and a 3. So we'll jot those down. We have 3, 5, 1, 8. Now I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way, I'm going to try and make the largest number. The second way, I'm going to be kind of careless and just do it quickly. So let's try 83 and 51. That's pretty good. Those numbers are pretty good. 83 becomes 80 and 3. That's my first team. 51 is 50 and 1. Now we're going to wrestle these. 80 times 50. 80 times 1. 3 times 50, 3 times 1, and we have 8 times 5 is 40, add your two zeros, 80 times 1, well, if I just have 180, that's 80, 3 times 5 is 15, add your zero, 3 times 1 is 3, add them up, we have 3, 13, 2, and 4, and our product is 4,233. Now again, if I did that over here, exact same method, different strategy. 80 times 50 is 4,000. 80 times 1 is 80. 3 times 50 is 150. 3 times 1 is 3. Add them up, we'll get the exact same thing. So on the sheet, you're really just doing your partial products. Now, let's talk a little strategy. 83 and 51 are pretty big numbers like we talked about. Now, if we get rather careless, let's take a look at 
the difference between 4,233 and the other product that we come up with. I'm going to put this down here, 4,233. Remember that those are our cards right there. Now I'm going to make the numbers, oh, let's say 53 and 18. Okay? Player one had this. I want to beat this. 53 and 18. 50, 3, 10, and 8. Now let's wrestle them. 50 times 10. 50 times 8. 3 times 10. 3 times 8. 50 times 10. 5 times 1 is 5. Two zeros. 5 times 8 is 40. 1 zero. 3 times 10 is 1 zero. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. So, 3 zeros and 4, add them together, we have 4. 0 plus 0 plus 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 4 gives us 9. Now, instead of that huge number that we had, 4,233, we have a measly 4, 7, 954. So in the first example, when we did it correctly, when we had bigger numbers than that, player two would have won. However, player two wins if we are care or player one wins if player two is careless. That's a look at how to play multiplication wrestling. Now you can play this two out of three, or four out of four out of seven, three out of five. You can play this until the cows come home, however you'd like it. Now remember that there are sheets in the back of the room if you're in my class, or you can go to my website and find those sheets under Everyday Mathematics Unit 5. So you'll find all of those there. On each sheet there are three rounds, so you can always make the best out of a two out of three situation. And maybe you got skunked by the first two rounds, you want to play one more just to save a little pride. That You could do that as well. So. Um, that's been Multiplication Wrestling. Thanks for joining us. Remember the resources are either on my website or in the back of the classroom. Thank you and have a great day.